can always come to the front then. Um, nevertheless, um, I'm, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, CNI always has been a very um, interesting meeting. My name is Jan Braser. I'm from the Göttingen State and University Library. Um, we're here because the German Research Foundation in Germany is a CNI member and has the fantastic program of uh, sending a German project to each of the CNI meetings to present what we're doing, so to um, exchange and strengthen the cooperation coordination between uh, US and American, uh, US and German projects. So I'm here to talk a bit about the um, Discuss Data Net project, but let me first um, start with a brief introduction of who we are. So, uh, Göttingen University is, was founded in 1736. It's uh, one of the larger universities in Germany. It has around 300,000 students um, located in a city that has 80,000 people living. So, Göttingen is a very nice, very small university, classical German university city. The University Library of Göttingen is actually two years older than the university and was founded in 1734 and is one of the largest in Germany and actually was also the first science and research library in the world, so the first library that actually started collecting books um, by a scientific acquisition method. Um, I'm the head of the research and development department. By the way, I apologize that my director, Wolfram Horstmann, cannot be here today. He also planned to make this presentation with me, but had to leave due to um, colliding events. So the research and development department is the largest uh, research and development department of any library in Germany. We have currently around 30 people um, working in 14 to 15 third party funded projects. Um, more than 80% of our staff is um, based on third party funding. Um, we just had our 15th anniversary because we were funded in 2004. And um, our general mission is to have a close look on how the digital transition changes the way we work with information. So basically, um, look at all the different aspects of virtual research environments that help the scientists to make their everyday research and their everyday work. Um, look at services for data centers, look at services how to exchange the data between the environments and the centers, and look at all aspects of the underlying infrastructure. So the um, Discuss Data project is one example of something that we do. The general idea is to um, establish a repository for research data on post-Soviet um, region uh, information. So the idea is that scientists who discuss and um, uh, research the post-Soviet region um, have a central repository where, can, where they can access all of their data types. This data incl includes census information, um, information about media, um, articles if the rights are, are there, um, and additional and any kind of information including up to um, videos or pictures. Um, and the basic idea is that when we started this project that we wanted to establish this in close cooperation with the scholarly community. So the repository should not only include the data, but also the context information about the data set and the information about the methodology um, of the collection. And it also has, should include interactive ways for the researcher to discuss the data. That's, I'll write the name, discuss data. So to have an interactive platform of researchers talking about data sets and also evaluating them. So the partners, apart from Göttingen State and University Library, are the, is the Research Center for East European Studies at Bremen University, which uh, comes from the fact that from the beginning on we wanted to work in close cooperation with the scientific community. The funding is from the German Research Foundation and we're in a three-year project, so the project shall end in 2019, December 2019. So as I said earlier, the basic idea is that we make a community-centered approach to research data management because we believe that um, uh, for this standalone uh, solution, scholars are the best experts for the data quality. So um, especially with such heterogeneous data for, in, for such a specific field as post-Soviet studies, um, the scholars are the ones who can actually tell you something about the quality of the data and are the best people to elevate, evaluate the data itself. 
Um, this follows also the idea that um, a small scope repository in this case works better than a larger one. So we really put pick a very specific scientific field and make a, a tailor-made repository for the needs of this specific um, discipline um, uh, instead of uh, having a bigger repository that holds many different um, uh, disciplines. And also the basic idea was to try to look at uh, if it is possible to make an interactive solution, so to allow the researchers to use the repository as a platform for discussion and ongoing interactive evaluation of the data. And last but not least, um, we also wanted to make use of existing infrastructures. So instead of building everything up from scratch, we tried to use existing solutions, especially from our department or from our community, as often as possible. And finally, um, although we are a very strong believer in open access, um, the nature of the data that we're looking at, of course, um, with a sensitive nature, um, sometimes requires that there are certain access restrictions um, in accessing the information. So the idea of Discuss Data is that, um, as I said earlier, we not only want to publish the data and make the data available, but we also want to link it with the documentation of the survey of the metho methodology. Um, but we want to establish a single point for evaluation of the data and allow the researchers tools for interactive evaluation, contextualization, and also discussion functions, um, including social media functionalities um, to make an interactive exchange between the scientists and also to strengthen the community building of this small, specific community of post-Soviet studies. So it's, a, as I said, a specialized platform, so we don't look at the complete discipline of um, of social science studies, but have a specific look at this um, sub-discipline to um, address specific topics and already have the chance to include the scientists in the beginning and the design of the platform to actually tailor-made a, a, a platform um, that specifically addresses the users of this um, community. And the Final idea is that at the long term, we want to make this platform as easy and as adaptive to use so that um, after the initial building up phase, the curators and the scientists, the experts it's themselves can take over the long term care and moderation um, of the platform. So we allow the um, so, uh, the researchers to upload the data, so the data comes from the community. There is, of course, is a peer review process, so the data should be peer reviewed by the um, domain spe specialists themselves to ensure the quality. Um, we, uh, for the storage um, of the publication that um, accompany the data sets, we um, rely on existing infrastructure like the DARIA DE repository. DARIA is a European project um, providing infrastructures for the digital humanities and also includes DUI um, publication of publications and data sets. And um, so the publication on the data get um, a DUI through DARIA and also um, the, um, the the data sets can be um, commented, and, um, and in a further addition, we also aim at uh, allowing DUI registration of selected comments that um, um, accompany the data sets. And last but not least, we also rely on existing author identification infrastructures. Daria has a shibboleth based um, also an access uh, identification that we use to support the rights management and the privacy of the material. So in a nutshell, um, these are the features of the discussed data uh, net services that we have. So we have the evaluation and annotation um, tasks like discussion and peer review of the data, linking the data to the publications and the underlying documents, um, allow a user weighting of the data sets and tagging of the data. Um, we allow social media features like uh, sharing of the content, dashboard functionality, notification mechanisms, and um, establish a researcher network. Um, the documentation um, is, uh, includes best practice documentation and, uh, and guidelines to use the system. And of course, we have core functionalities, account management, metadata, and data ingest. 
Um, but all of this is in cooperation with external sources, external services, and um, from the beginning on, it was a clear uh, eye on the community, uh, especially on the Croatian through the community. So in the project infrastructure, we um, have a clear link to existing infrastructures like the Daria Depository uh, that is responsible for a storage of public, um, publications that combine the data and also for DOI, um, DOI registration of any content and also for the access uh, identification. Um, we also have external data repositories that we can include so we can also um, allow data sets to link to other resources that are outside of our system. And um, uh, we also have the data collection, metadata, and data integration that can be part of the system or also um, part of it can be outside of the system. So although we um, started um, last year when we were around half the way, we um, have established a prototype of the system um, although it's um, st in, still in an internal alpha release, I'm happy to show you some, of, uh, some slides and some screenshots showing how the system will look. Um, the first open beta uh, will be released at the end of this year, and we will launch uh, the repository in the system itself uh, next year to evaluate it through the community. So these are just some previews of the um, final system, and I again apologize for the size of the slides, so if you're not able to see them, um, it was originally intended for a much more comfy atmosphere in a, in a smaller room. Um, but you might get an idea of, out of it, it's a classical um, infrastructure that allows you to um, have a, a prof profile and um, for, um, for a user to log in and have its individual pages. Um, this is an example of a page for a data set. You can see that there is um, a under, there's a title and summary, of course, and where the error metadata goes to, there actually is the description of the data set. This, for example, is um, uh, an analysis of how media reported on expert pipelines in the um, Caspian region. So it looks at um, pipelines um, uh, that went through the Caspian region for, for gas and oil and um, how media reported about these pipelines between 1998 and 2011. So this is not the um, media articles themselves, but an analysis of the um, media articles looking at um, the way um, the, the topics they have and, and, uh, and depending on if, if the country is, is more or less free and has a more or less free press, how the reports themselves um, look like. Um, and it, of course, there are some tags um, tagging the data, there's some author information, and it also gives you some context information about this data set. Um, and this is a uh, screenshot of a discussion page. So this data set actually has um, a discussion attached to it where different um, uh, users that are locked in can make comments on the data set, can evaluate it, can rate it and um, uh, highlight specific aspects of the data that are worth mentioning. So this was a specific interest by the community to allow them to have active discussion on top of the data sets. So what are um, our challenges um, and what is our, our, our own evaluation criteria? Um, so we start with a three-year project, and the idea is that at the end of this three-year project, we will have a final system that will allow the users, um, the, the scientists, to, to use it and independently take on the work from, from the basic platform that we, we give to them. So um, we, of course, rely very heavily on community involvement and willingness to exchange data. And so, as from the beginning, the community was heavily involved in the project, um, we are very positive that this project and, and the dis um, final service will be carried by the community, and um, already there has been a lot of community involvement, and the very small but very spe specific community of uh, researchers looking at the post-Soviet um, regions um, have a big interest in working with this platform. Um, nevertheless, um, it is the final um, community's task to um, require um, long-term curation, so we also need um, uh, the willingness of the community to provide additional work once the platform is ready. Um, 
for the data integration, um, we, we currently look at the technical implementation and, um, and try to make guidelines for best practice for data suppliers and users to use it. But nevertheless, um, of course, without a critical mass of data, um, the community will not use it, and if the community will not use it, we won't have a critical mass of data. So we hope to have the system ready at the end of the year, and next year start, it, start uploading it with more and more data from the community, and um, hopefully engage more and more in interaction between the scholars using the system. Um, as I said earlier, we have a pretty tight schedule because we have uh, three years for the development of the platform and then at the end um, we'll give it to the community to um, establish its further use. Um, uh, nevertheless, the strength is that from the beginning, and that is why we spent the first year in actually designing the platform in close cooperation with the community, so we looked at user-oriented design of the interfaces and workflows based on the needs of the specific um, a community uh, of scholars and our ideas of sustainability of course is that after this three years initial platform development um, the community should be able to operate the system on its own and in continuous cooperation um, of the project partners and um, we also have um, uh, have to look at uh, challenges like ownership, copyright, data privacy, and um, the current method is that we have author identification, identification, and um, also have access um, restrictions to sensitive information because sometimes, especially with um, post-Soviet era data, it could be that the data is sensitive in the nature that. Um, uh, you won't have to publish openly who the sources are, who gave you this type of the information, and you sometimes want to anonymize um, names that appear in the data sets in the, in, in the service, so there needs to be some access restriction and anonymization based on top of the data sets. Um, so, what we achieved and wanted to achieve is actually to create um, uh, a platform for a specific sub-community, a very small, very spe specialized community of post-Soviet area region um, scientists, researchers, to have their own platform for their own data sets, and uh, from the beginning had the chance to be actively involved in designing it. Um, we um, will also um, try to um, have um, uh, strong support to um, large data sets and uh, institutional collections because there already exists a number of collections that we want to um, integrate into this infrastructure and um, where, where needed, but sometimes just provide a close connection, for example, by um, assigning DUI identifiers to data sets. Of course, it's easy to integrate um, the data without physically moving it from existing uh, infrastructures. Um, and also, um, we want to provide a platform that gives a special support for data integration uh, and visualization of the data. These are parts that we haven't actually touched in detail so far, but we're positive that we will have some support for that. And um, last but not least, um, this is a, an interesting, special, uh, very specialized example um, of active community engagement in a specific area and um, also has the strengths of actively pro providing interactive features for evaluation and weighting of data sets um, uh, based on our experience and by the needs of the specialized community. But um, we're happy to share with you um, our thoughts and happy to learn from your ideas and, and see if you have examples of um, uh, comparable infrastructures. So I think that was already my presentation, and I believe I'm on time, so we have now time, 10 minutes for questions.